Assalamualaikum and hi, I am Muhammad Dini Yifan bin Yudin. My metric number is 280928 and now I will explain about the company profile of Silverbird Group Berhad. Alright, the first thing, the Silverbird Group is a major procedure of bakery and confectionery product including its popular frozen cake line which began manufacturing in 1990. The Silverbird Group now not only manufactures baked food goods but also leads to the sector with a major distribution network. It has 4,000 retail locations are available through hypermarket and supermarket and then also 7 until 11 stores and Chinese medical hall and grocery stores and also direct selling corporation and organization. The business is divided into two areas. There is consumer food manufacturing and distribution as well as the communication product distribution. Stenson Bakery Sendiran Berhad which manufactures bread. Standard Confectionery Sendiran Berhad which manufacture frozen and daily fresh bakery goods. Stenson Marketing Sendiran Berhad which sell and distribute bakery goods and telecommunication product and silverbird foods which sells and distributes bakery goods and telecommunication products. Generally, fraud occurring within the Silverbird was a financial statement fraud starting from 2010. As BGB commissioned a forensic report February 2012 following allegations of irregularities in the company account that were brought to the Board of Directors' attention when Crow Howard, the auditor, expressed concern about the legality of the certain transaction and the recording for which the auditor was unable to obtain the relevant information or the relevant evidence that supports and satisfactory explanation of the company management. My name is Nu Ildina Bente Abdul Malik. My metric number is 280381. The scandal all started in the year of 2012 when the company faced a loss of 112 million ringgit which later revealed that the actual value was 297 million ringgit. This loss has led to the termination of three key officials of the company. The group managing director Datuk Jackson Tan Han Ko, the executive director Ching Siu Chong and the accounts and finance general manager Lai Poh Mi that were determined by the chairman of the group himself, Datuk Gan Puan Po. Resulting from this event, Ching Siu Chong filed a lawsuit for the wrongful termination which comprises of 90,000 ringgit for his 3 month salary, 60,000 ringgit for damages he experienced and 2 million ringgit for the losses he undergone from the force of sale of his stock occurring from the board's mismanagement and the PM17 status after the termination. SBGB counter sued the lawsuit far to the tune of 125 million ringgit against the three former key officials in August 2012 after the issuance of Forensic Accounting Review report by PFK Advisory Syndrome Berhad and from the result of internal investigations. The company filed lawsuit for breach of fiduciary duties, statutory duties and other duties owed to the company, the key officials fraud and conspiracy to defraud the company or misappropriate the company's funds and to conceal such fraud and proceeds of such fraud from the company for their joints and respective gains while for Crow Haworth, AGSB and FIAS were claimed negligence and breach of duty of care and or their duties and responsibilities to SBGB as their external and internal auditors fail to discover or detect the financial irregularities during the period. The scandal was started when the three former key officials created various made-up transactions, engineering fast accounting records and executing fraud for the purpose of misappropriating funds. Datuk Jackson and Chiu Siu Cheng are guilty of 134 charges of cheating and using fraud documents to deceive a bank which was Maybank of 60.4 million ringgit. As a result, the company was delisted in 2014, faced financial difficulties and eventually shut down in June 2016. The investors react negatively to the possible financial irregularities amounting to 111.5 million ringgit due to the scandal. The share dropped by more than 50%, stretched 81.3 million ringgit from its market capitalization as the share closed the day at 20.5 cents. 
Assalamualaikum, my name is Nopal Rakoyo, Matrix No. 280853. Role of Auditor The role of Auditor is to form material misstatement brought by fraud. The standard for auditing do not differentiate between an auditor responsibility for error and detection of fraud. The problem encountered by the auditor are incorrect summaries and description, as well as calculation error, misunderstanding, and implementation of accounting concept. If the financial statement need to be disclosed, the auditor will compile any appropriate audit evidence that are acceptable to the financial data of the business operation. How and what auditor do? Firstly, duty care and skill. Auditor have a responsibility that must be carried out fully in auditing honestly, fairly to its care and skill. Therefore, it is necessary to follow standard that be used in Malaysia and perform its duty within the prescribed time. For suitable company situation, the auditor fail to review the audit working paper and auditor do not examine the relevant work when it comes to the validity and recording of certain transactions and not able to obtain a strong audit evidence. Here we can see the civil audit Saveable auditor do not do the work with the care and skill that's supposed to be. Secondly, concept assumption. Audit actually need to work continuously. If the opposite happen, then the work will be confused and incomplete. The saveable company, the auditor fail to gather any audit evidence to assume that the value state in the statement were true. There is a high probability of material misstatement to the financial statement. Not only that, the civil bird company explain delay in completing the audit subsidiaries. Uh, thus, there is miscellaneous value in the fa falsification of the statement. Therefore, the auditor need to have a such a role of continuous effort within the time stated. Auditor responsibility in relation to going concern assumption. The external auditor Howard presented the extraordinary item to the audit committee and the board of directors. According to the external auditor, management was unable to provide all the details and justification required for their audit. Once informed, an investigation should be made against those involved. Based on the finding of the investigation, there is a high probability that the financial statement of the unused item have been materially falsified. The auditor conclusion should now be formed after careful consideration of the information obtained during the audit and the final financial statement. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muasna Bibi Muhammad Tamizi. My message number is 280863. Uh, so I will continue with the how it affect the auditor. The audit report is the final product of the audit process as well as the auditor judgment about the quality and content of the client expressed uh, financial statement and its play important role in create uh, recently for financial statement user, primarily for the stakeholders. It is critical that all parties involved, uh, in, including suppliers and users of the report, fully comprehended uh, to the meaning of the auditor report. Uh, this is because uh, auditor report includes a lot of information and this also means passing it to the consumers. The civil group Berhad, uh, Derek Ching Siu Chong, 50 years, 51 years old, and Datuk Jackson Tan Hancock, 59 years old, were charged with 7 and 8 count of each of them of making face statement to the Busa Malaysia about civil bird revenue in years 2010 and 2011. They were charged under section uh, 369B of the Capital Market and Services at 2007 following a SC investigation into false statement in civil bird 8 audited quarterly financial statement for the financial year and the 31 October 2010 and 2011. 10 of switching were charged by Security Commissions of Malaysia with providing false information to the Bursa Malaysia between 2010 and 2011. Other than that, a civil uh, firm which know for its brand, uh, which is High Five, found that there was a discovery of the 112 million, which turned out to be 297 million ringgit, 
which is uh, arose from the several uh, doubtful payment for property refurbishment, machinery upgrade and unverified transaction. In the financial perspective, uh, perspective, it was a terrible thing to happen to this to the this firm. Uh, furthermore, in February 2012, according to practical note 17 of the uh, Bursa Malaysia uh, listing requirement, shortly after remo uh, removing uh, Datuk Jackson Tan Hang Kok and Derek Chin Siu Chong from its board of directors, the company was deemed uh, an effective uh, listed issuer. Uh, in 2012, the shareholder and employee of the Silver Bird, Silver Bird Group Berhad seem to have borne uh, the burden of uh, accounting uh, irregularities when the company stopped production last month after uh, its interim investor failed to turn around the debt landed firm to the firm founded 50 years ago. This uh, due to the fact two of the firm, mem uh, firm members uh, Silver Bird former CEO Datuk Jackson Tan Hang Kok as well as KPF uh, former director Datuk Sa Chu Sawal was suspected of misappropri misappropriating fund total uh, 30 million uh, while serving the company director through 20 bankers accepted documents. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nor Azira binti Muhammad Noor and my metric number is 280369. I will continue about the effects of this fraud case to the auditor. Audit's governance in the Ramberhat and focus internal audit solutions, which part of the internal auditor was not able to detect the fraud and irregularities of the company in the earlier stages. The fraud that was committed by Dr. Jackson, Tan Han Kuk, Ching Siu Chong, and Lai Pong Mei were for their personal advantage, and it was a financial statement fraud. Due to all this matter, the internal auditor can detect the efficiency and effectiveness of company operations and the board of directors unable to justify why there were no proper reports kept. Next, lack of internal control in the Silver Group Audit Committee exposed them to risk. There is a lot of information missing, such as bad debts and extra allowances that should be paid or impairment losses on receivables yet neither the audit committee nor the BOD took any action. There are also inaccurate entries that might produce a misleading unit trail and must query it of interbank transfers as debtor payment. All this resulted in a number of issues that led to the values assigned to the organization's current assets in the financial statement being deceptive. Moreover, according to Crow Haworth, which is the external auditor of Silverbirds, they identified financial irregularities and reported them to the audit committee and BOD. They can't convey their opinion because they fail to verify and poor keeping of sales transaction of Silver Bird Berhide. For example, the sales transaction carried out with debtors from telecommunication amounting 149 million, including 83.9 million in telecommunication gross sales, cannot be verified. According to the auditor, all of this caused a serious drop in company financial performance and status. They stated that Silver Berhad's financial report is frivolous in nature and without basis due to a lack of facts. That's all from me. I will pass to the next presenter. Alright, so in conclusion, when conducting a business, an organization, particularly a publicly traded corporation, should never go against the rules and regulation. Profiting from unethical behavior or action will cause a company stock to fail in the near future. It's difficult for a company to re-establish its brand and reputation following a financial setback. Integrity, confidentiality, independence, and the evidence-based approach are some of the characteristics that auditor can use to help the organization perform well. Auditor should be honest in their job and the extent possible be independent of the activity being audited. So, Silverbird should learn from his mistake and never make the same ones again. That's all from me. Thank you.